What's up guys, in today's video we are going to be installing a pedal Haas pedal kit in my E46 M3. It includes the uh, clutch, brake, gas, dead pedal, and then I also picked up an aluminum heel plate. Uh, so let's get into the video. Alright, so here are the tools you're going to need. Um, first of all, you're going to need your drill to drill in the self-tapping screws for the gas pedal. Um, drill bit for the uh, clutch and the brake pedal. Um, here's your uh, template to be able to make sure that you get the right spacing and then also a uh, I have a wrench here with an 8 millimeter socket on it for when I go to put the uh, screws in and tighten those down. So here's what the kit includes. You've got your dead pedal, uh, clutch, brake, and then obviously gas pedal over here. So uh, it comes with your hardware. So you're going to have some uh, self-tapping screws on the gas pedal. Then you're going to have um, some screws. There's also a washer in there and an eight millimeter nut that's gonna be on the back. So first thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna take the uh, old pedals off. These are just rubber pedals that um, kind of sit over as a covering. So I'm gonna pull that off. You can see this one's kind of toast. So I'm gonna pull these off and attach the new um, pedals. Here's your plate. This is what's going to line up the uh, holes on each of these uh, pedals here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it. There's two hangers back here on the top and then there's one on the uh, side here. So you'll hang it, make sure it's flush. And then from this point, I know that the holes are even and now I've just got to take uh, as much hardware as I need per pedal. Which it looks like it's going to be two screws. All right, so once that's set up, I'm going to take some plastic lay it down so when I start drilling uh, it no shavings get on my carpet so I have two spots that I need to pick out they're all evenly spaced so it'd be pretty easy drill out the holes and then I have provided hardware here I have two screws per um, pedal that I can use So clutch pedal's done, and so now I've got to do the brake pedal. Same process, I'm going to line up the bracket here, I'm going to try and zip tie it if I can to this because uh, it'll help me, especially because I'm going to be drilling into the metal now. Um, so I'm going to see if I can't finagle the zip ties uh, to keep the bracket onto here. Okay, so next piece is I've got to drill in the uh, gas pedal. Now these are self-tapping screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here. I'll probably zip tight in place. That way it doesn't slide on me at all. Um, and I can make sure everything's consistent. And then I'll go in and uh, use the self-tapping screws. So zip tight in place, I'm gonna go ahead and take the drill bit and uh, start a little bit of a pilot hole in uh, two of the holes, whatever, actually four of the holes, whichever four I pick. Um, that way I just know that these are gonna bite and then I'll uh, screw them in the rest of the way. All the hardware is in and it's been tightened by hand with a Phillips head screwdriver. So that is, that concludes the install for the three pedals here. Next is the dead pedal and all this has is some adhesive. So I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit um, and then slap this one on top of it. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to remove this uh, dead pedal assembly um, just because the there's this black uh, piece right here on the OEM dead pedal and it's, it's gonna interfere with the um, heel plate the way it is right now. So I'm gonna try and remove this piece um, and then that way uh, it'll be just flat um, back there so it'll, it'll help that um, adhere a lot better.
so here is the heel plate. This is gorgeous. It's great. Super nice, great quality. It's lightweight, but it still looks great. Um, so what I'm going to do is comes with your hardware. Um, so you've got your screws, and then it's got a fitting that will bite into the fabric of your um, floor mat. So what it'll do is I'll drill out a hole and screw it in. All right, let's do this over here. So floor mat's out, so I'm gonna mock it up. I know exactly where I want it to go, so now to drill out the holes and put it on here. Alright guys, well here is the finished product. I think it looks awesome. There's a lot more that went into it than I, um, I thought was going to, but it turned out to be fairly easy and it looks really good, so well worth the effort. Alright guys, well that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you guys uh, want to see more videos, uh, you guys can always subscribe uh, and have an awesome day. I will see you guys in the next one.